In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a shot blocking wing build. So if you want something different with a rare name, then this video is for you. So let's get right into the video. Hey, what's going on y'all? I hope everybody is having a great day today. So before I show you guys the build, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you are new and turn on post notifications so you'll know when I post all these new bangers. And also follow me on all my socials. Links will be down in the description below. So for position, I went with shooting guard, but you guys can go with small forward as well. I have seen it at that position. Now, right left hand is your preference and Udre's number is also your preference. In height, I went six foot nine, weight 205 pounds, wingspan seven foot seven. Now, if you guys do it at the small forward position, you can do this at six foot ten as well. Now, as for body shape, I love to find, but you can go with whatever you want. Now, here's what I did for the attributes close shot is a 77, driving layup 71, 84, driving dunk 70, standing dunk, and a 75 post control. Now, before you guys get on me about why not go with 86 driving dunk or a 88 driving dunk, it's because you won't get the shot blocking wing name. If you go up any more past 84, you will get a three level score. And I did not want that name. I wanted something different. So that's why the drive dunk is set at an 84. But you do get fast twitch, posterizer rise up, fearless finisher, aerial wizard, limitless takeoff, slithery, post spin if you use it, giant slay if you want to use that pro touch, if I didn't say it already. But you do get some good finishing badges. But that's the downside of this build. You can't go higher on your drive and dunk because of if you want the name, you can't do that. If you don't care about the name, then by means go up on your drive and dunk and you would be straight to take some attributes from somewhere else all right now for shooting you got an 80 mid range an 82 three-point shot and a 75 free throw so we do get catch and shoot blinders dead eye guard up green machine volume shooter space creator play more amped you know all of the good shooting badges now the reason i went 82 is because i wanted that dead eye on silver if you guys don't care about that you can go down to 80 if you want to but again i wanted to catch and shoot on gold because how i play i like to catch and shoot a lot so that's why i wanted that but if you guys don't care about dead eye being on silver then put that 81 if you don't care about catch and shoot being at gold then put it at an 80 you can shoot with the 80 you can shoot in the 70s with the you know with a 73 ball i'm telling y'all you can so just find the right jump shot and timing and you will be straight all right but i believe that at 82 now let's come down to playmaking got a 75 pass accuracy at 80 ball handle and a 75 speed with ball so you get handles for days on bronze which you get clamp breaker color combos unpluckable on silver quick first step silver vice grip on gold hyperdrive on silver as well and you do get break started on silver if you guys play in the rack and you want to play that type of role you be able to throw the ball down the floor without it going out of bounds so that's what we got for the playmaking badges and then for the defensive rebounding category it's a little weird i know y'all it's a little strange you can mess with the attributes here yourself um and you will still get the name just be mindful of what you do but you got a 76 interiority a 75 perimeter a 70 seal 93 block a 70 offensive rebound and 85 defensive rebound for this build so you got rebound chase on silver, pogo stick, anchor gold, chase down artist on Hall of Fame. That's what I wanted. Let me see. Minutes on silver, workhorse on gold. I love it on Hall of Fame, but gold is good as well. And you get off ball pass if you want to use that. And you get box out beast. So we got some good defensive badges, but they just look a little strange. I know because it's not my typical defensive rebounding category. Well, how about this stat attributes? I would like to call it. I usually go 82 for interior D. You know, like an 80 perimeter D, especially for 6'9. The steal, I don't really care about that too much. The block is usually between the 88 and 93, and so forth and so forth. So, but this is a different type of build name. If you guys mess around with it again, you will get a different name. And for your physicals, you got an 80 speed, a 78 acceleration, a 60 strength, a 75 vertical, and a 90 stamina. On this build, so you got 18 finishing, 20 shooting, 18 playmaking, and 23 defensive badges on this build. And then for your takeovers, you get shot crate and take, you got sharp rim and glass and i went with spot up precision and pull up precision and we have some pretty good shades of tracy mcgrady paul george and josh Giddy. and you have yourself a shot blocking wing so let me show you the badges that i'll put on the bill okay so i will put on limitless take all fearless finisher leathery right there then i come down here and i will pour fast switch put on posterizer it's just good to have on and i had on area wizard you guys can you know pick and choose put on whatever you want but that's what i had on now for shooting i had Green Machine on gold, and then I did guard up on gold, and then I came down here and I core catch and shoot, put on dead eye because I love that badge, over blinders, and then I did amped on silver. You guys don't have to put amped on if you're not gonna play that way, but if you are gonna be dribbling and playing, then you can put it on. Agent three, you only get it on bronze, 
If you want to put that on, that's fine. But for me, I don't play that way. So I probably put all mine on volume shooter or you can put like volume shoot on silver and space create on silver. However you guys play, just put it on that way. All right. Now for playmaking, I did bell out, of course. Quick first up, hyperdrive. And I just threw this on here for right now. We're going to come back to it. And then I think I cord unpluggable because we need unpluggable. And I put on handles for days. Came back up here, took that off. I put it on vice grip. And that's what I did for playmaking. You guys definitely want to add some extra badge points to the playmaking category so you can at least get clamp breaker on uh, silver. So I'll put all the plus four. And if you have any badges from hidden level 39, then you can put them on here. I'll definitely put some on here though. All right, but this is what I did for playmaking. And then defense, I did chase down artists on gold for right now. And then I did clamp workhorse. Let me take that off. So I did chase down and then I did box out beats. And then I just did that for right now. And I came down here at core anchor, put on rebound chaser, put clamps on. And then I did workhorse and I put challenger on. And that's what I did for defense. But of course you guys can put on whatever you like, all right? But hey, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you watch this video right here and I'm out. Peace.